Okay, so well, question two of this is, comes in three parts, A, B, and C. This is the first part. So this is 55 seats and 10 of them are empty. So if we do 55 subtract 10, that tells us there's 45 passengers on board. 45 passengers. But we know that three-fifths of them are female. So if we find three-fifths of 45, that's 45 divided by 5 and then times it by 3. Bye bye. Ah, that was just Miss Salis leaving. So 45 divided by 5 is uh, 45 divided by 5 is 9, and 3 that's 1 fifth. 3 fifths is times it by 3, which is 27 females. If there's 27 females, we want to work out the number of males. 45 minus 27 is 18 males, and that's the first one done, so it's 18. Let's look at the next part. Part B says each passenger pays £10 for the trip. The trip costs the company uh, £340. Well, 45 times £10 is equal to £450. That's the takings of the uh, company. The trip costs £340 and they want to make £100 for profit. So if you do 340 plus 100 pounds uh, is equal to 440, and that's their target. That's what they want to gain to. So the costs plus what they want to make in profit is what their target. Now, do they achieve this? Yes, they did, because their takings are uh, is more than their target. Okay, easy. Last part. Company tries to sell 10 empty seats for £6 each. They will manage to sell half these seats. So they've sold uh, half of 10 is obviously 5. So there's 5 seats times £6 is equal to, oh, sorry, is equal to £30 profit. So that's going to be how much? So it's going to be £30 extra profit for that. Okay, so that was quite a nice question. So six that's worth eight marks of the exam and uh, hopefully you're going to get all of those marks.